So the day has finally arrived where it is now possible to run an entire version of the Windows operating system, specifically Windows 95, inside of a desktop application. It's called Windows 95 version 1.1 and it's available over on a GitHub page and this is developed by Felix Reisberg. I'm probably pronouncing your last name wrong and I'm very sorry about that. But uh, Felix here has basically created an application based on the Electron framework that enables you to run Windows 95 on your computer without creating a virtual machine or a, a hypervisor, having to go find an ISO image, which isn't really that difficult by itself. But this just is, is pretty insane that this is possible um, to just create a whole application specifically dedicated for the sole purpose of running Windows 95. This application was released today, so this video, uh, this application is not that old. You're probably watching this video on a Friday, the 24th of August, um, but this application was released on the 23rd of August uh, as version 1.0. It was released 11 hours ago. It's about 11 o'clock p.m. that I'm recording this video. So about 11 hours ago at 11.37 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, this application was released to the public for the very first time. And just four hours ago, so at, at around 7 p.m. today, uh, he updated it with version 1.1, which added floppy disk support. So I'm very interested in actually taking a look at this. I'm going to have uh, the download link for this down below. Um, it is a 128 megabyte EXE file, which is pretty insane. Um, but this is available for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux as well. He also has uh, the source code published as well. So if you wanted to, you know, tinker with this and uh, kind of, you know, create your own. Uh, fork of this application, uh, you can do that as well. So yes, uh, that is uh, the download page for this again over on GitHub. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at this. So I've got a install of Windows 7 set up here, a fresh install, and here we have the file that you download from GitHub. And you can see uh, for the file description there, it says Windows 95 in an app. I'm sorry. Let's just go ahead and run it. So it's going to ask us to install .NET 4.5. We'll go ahead and do that. All right, so this here is what the setup process looks like. It's not really um, any user input required. And after a restart, we have the application running right here. So this is what that it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and make it full screen. Um, so yes, it is, it is all contained within this application. So we've got a few options right here. We can just start Windows 95 and you can hit escape to lock or unlock your mouse. So kind of just like a virtual machine where in uh, VMware, at least if you press control alt, uh, it will remove your mouse from the VM. It's kind of that same thing here. Uh, you press the escape key to lock and unlock your mouse. We also have the option to insert a floppy disk down here, but we're just gonna go ahead and start Windows 95. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that button and here we go so the whole thing is already set up we don't have to go through the windows 95 setup procedure and uh here is there's this hi there.txt and this basically has a note from the author and here is his twitter handle if you want to go ahead and follow him there all right so we've got the screen resized to where you can actually see the whole thing on uh you know without having those scroll bars on the side so one thing that i've noticed already is the way that uh, the mouse capturing works when you press the escape key to get your mouse back uh, to your computer, you can see when I move it around, the cursor inside of the Windows 95 program still moves. And if I click and if I right click, you can see that it also still takes effect. So when you press the escape key, it gets rid of your mouse on your computer and puts it all into the Windows 95 program. So now we are just contained in, uh, inside of this box here. But uh, as for the installation, let's go ahead and uh, go to the properties here. So. This is uh, the like registration PSP crazy, um, and it's uh, identifying the hardware as a Pentium Pro with 64 megs of RAM. And this computer has two gigs of RAM, but uh, the application has allocated 64 megs. So let's go ahead and take a look at what programs that we have installed here. So it just looks like right off the bat, we have all of your regular uh, programs and games that you would expect from a standard Windows 95 installment. We got Solitaire here. Um, it all works as you would expect it to. 
it's just crazy that all of this is contained inside of an application that you can download for free online. So one thing that I'm interested in, in seeing is if this works uh, with installing your own applications, which I've, I've kind of heard from some people over on Twitter, which is where I first heard about this, that uh, people were having, at least with the 1.0 version, uh, people were having some problems with getting their own applications to work. But now that he's added floppy disk support, it's going to be interesting um, to see if we can mount our own floppy disk and if it will allow us to run uh, our own applications, you know, regular Windows 95 programs. So I believe we do have to power off uh, the application. So let's go ahead and just, you know, shut down Windows 95 like you normally would. So we're going to go ahead and shut down the computer. And uh, we're going to not save changes to the text document. And when we power off the computer, it looks like we might just have to uh, to close out of it entirely. So let's just go ahead and do that. And let's uh, launch Windows 95 again. So it says you can insert a, a, a floppy disk with the IMG format. Boot the machine from scratch if you've inserted a new floppy disk to make sure that Windows can load it. So let's go ahead and insert a floppy disk and i've got two different applications on the desktop right here we've got doom and a version of the microsoft entertainment pack we're going to go ahead and start off with doom we're going to mount uh, a disk image file as far as i know this does not work with an iso image it says it only works with the img format so these are all floppy diskettes right here now doom of course is a dos program this is not doom 95 but it would normally work in windows 95 since it runs on top of dos but let's just go ahead and, and see what we can actually do here so we're going to go ahead and uh, mount disk one it says inserted floppy disk. We're going to discard state and uh, boot from scratch so that the windows can load it. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is already a little bit different than what it did before um, because now it's showing us the boot screen and everything in, in a very low, uh, like scrunched up resolution. So it seems that the desktop background has changed and we no longer have that uh, hi there.txt file that we did before. But let's go ahead and go into my computer and go into the uh, floppy disk drive and see if it's able to find anything so it looks like it's loading right now and it's saying that the device is, is not accessible so i was not able to get the doom disk to mount but i was able to get the microsoft entertainment pack one to work so let's go ahead and run setup.exe and this literally yeah this looks like that it's working this is the entertainment pack setup we will install to to see web hit install and yeah, check that out. This is actually working. That is pretty crazy. So um, yeah, it, it looks like some, I mean, Doom just, when I would go to load stuff off of the floppy disk, it just said it could not find a disk in the drive or it said the drive A was not accessible. Um, so this one did work though. Obviously uh, the Microsoft Entertainment Pack worked. So yeah, when we go into the C drive, we've got the, the web folder, open that up. And yeah, here is all of our uh, games from the Microsoft Entertainment Pack. We can go ahead and run Minesweeper here. Go ahead and run Tetris. Um, yeah, this is this is literally working. That is that's pretty insane. Go ahead and start a new game here. And yep, working as you as you would expect it to. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, that is a look at the Windows 95 program. That again, you can download from GitHub a full-fledged installation of, of, uh, of Windows 95 that even allows you to install programs from a floppy diskette, all contained in a 128 megabytes application. Um, I want to give a huge thank you to uh, the few people over on Twitter for pointing this out to me that this did actually exist. I want to give a huge thank you to Felix for actually you know, d developing this application and making this whole thing possible. And I want to give a huge thank you to you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed and turn on notifications if you haven't already. If you want to see more videos like this in the near future. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.